Hi, welcome back to another video. Um, we're going to do a, a set today which will be a collaboration. So I am going to leave you a playlist. Um, I'd love it if you check out everybody's video. That would be great. Um, it's one of our collaborations where um, us ladies have got together again. Uh, we have now named ourselves, thanks to Shell, the Nutty Nail Co. So that is our new name. <laughs> Okay, Tracy, um, Tracy Badley has chosen the theme for this and it is Abalone Shell. Okay, so like, as I said, I'll leave a playlist up. Right, on those three nails that you've just seen me do, I've put Perfect White on. I'll do a second coat off camera and this one is Blueberry Cream. So I've just done one coat of that because we're just going to use it as a background for this glitter. So this is uh, one what Tracy got me for my birthday and it is called Sky. Um, it's so, so nice. It is lovely blue with iridescent on it. I think it's gorgeous, so couldn't wait to use it. Um, I've just popped a little bit of uh, top coat on that tip and I'm just going to use my ombre brush just to pick a few pieces up at a time. Um, I don't want to overload uh, the tip completely, but yeah, just make sure most of it's covered. I just wanted one diff one different nail to the rest of the set, just to break the set up a little bit. Once that's all on there and in place, uh, just make sure nothing's hanging over the edge. Uh, and then I'm just going to pop that in the lamp. And then that one will be put to the side. Um, right, I'm going to velvet matte top coat these from uh, with Madame Glam's uh, matte top coat. The best one, in my opinion. So that will go in the lamp for 30 seconds. And I've pulled out uh, a couple of my Chroma inks. So they're like alcohol inks. Um, I've pulled out the pink and the blue. Now they're quite strong colours. So what I tend to do is I will just put a little bit on of each one, um, leave that to dry for a couple of seconds and then pop on the blue. Uh, and in a little dish next to me, I've just put um, a little bit of, well, you can just see it there, look, in the tray. I've just put a little bit of alcohol gel in there. Not alcohol gel, that's what you put on your hands. No, isopropyl alcohol, rather. Um, <laughs> don't know what made me say that. Losing the plot. Um, yeah, and I'll, all I'll just keep doing is dabbing it into the dish, picking up a little bit of alcohol, and then dabbing it back onto the nail. And just trying to disperse those colours and sort of mingle them in together. Um, and it, there's no right or wrong way of doing this if it looks, you know, like it... it doesn't look right you can carry on doing it you can keep putting as much on as you want if the worst comes to the worst you would just put some alcohol or a bit of acetone on a pad and just whip it off quick they come off so easily so don't worry if you put in some on and it doesn't look right it will end up looking really nice I don't think you can go wrong with alcohol inks, definitely not. So all I'm going to do with those anyways, as I've done on each one, is just disperse that into one another and um, I'm going to do something else as well in a, in a second to it because obviously, they're like I say, they're quite strong colours. Um, I'll leave that for a little I would say probably about two minutes to dry and they'll be completely dry so what I will do next is um, besides titivating and messing 
Uh, I'm going to go over them with some no wipe top coat. Now I've not put a thick layer down. I'm only going to put a thin layer down. Because what I want to do is do a little bit of filing on it. Um, and get some of that white showing through again. Which you will see in a minute. So I filed off camera. Sorry, noisy dog with noisy ears. And noisy feet. And that's what I've done. I've just taken that file quite hard on some places and brought some of that white back up through. Um, and then what I'm going to do next is I've got a little bit of that, uh, it's actually abalone angel paper. So I've cut some strips up um, and I've also pulled out some of the blue crushed shells from Charlie's Nail Art. And I'm going to go in with a coat of, from Madame Glam, rubber base coat. And the colour is called Amazon. It's like a clear white with a little bit of glittering. Sorry, you're going to get a siren. Wait for that to go. <laughs> Wouldn't be one of my videos. Very noisy, isn't it? Um, so anyway, we're going to do that on each one. And all I'm going to do is, uh, in that layer of uh, base coat, I'm going to actually put some of that angel paper in. Like, round about where the white patches are sticking up. And also, in that base, we're going to put some of that shell. So I'm going to keep the shell in the middle of the nail. And I'm going to put sort of like three or four pieces on. A bit like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and then they will go into the lamp. Uh, for 30 seconds. And that will just hold on to that angel paper and those shells so they don't go anywhere. And that Amazon rubber base as well will stop that uh, that the alcohol inks being quite so powerful um, because I didn't I wanted them a little bit muted not so brightening your face so we're going to go in with another coat of the rubber base coat over the top of the angel paper and the shell just to give that a little bit more of a coverage because I'm going to go in with some hard gel So that's gone in for 30 seconds. Um, I've got this gel from Canny. It's called OK Gel. Bit of a strange name. But it's got one of these little press tops on it. And all I've done is pressed it twice. I'm going to take half of that bead and pick it up with my gel brush. And I'm just going to swipe that on like I would with an nail polish. Just to give that slip layer there so that the rest of it doesn't disappear off the edge of the nail and then I've gone back in with the other half of that bead and I'm just going to sweep that down and go up the sides as well just to make sure it's all covered turn it upside down make sure it's all in the right place and then pop it straight into the lamp for 60 seconds I'm going to do the same again so I'm going to put that slip layer down don't forget those shell pieces are quite they'll be quite raised and then we're going with the next one and just sweep that down the whole of the nail right down to the bottom making sure those shell pieces are all encapsulated I think I only showed you two I think yeah and then I did the glitter one I did one of the others off camera just to speed it up a little bit so we're going to do exactly the same on the glitter one. That glitter won't go anywhere. We're going to go in with um, a slip layer and then I will take uh, the rest of the bead off the top of that pot. And then I'm fired and buffed off camera. And then, ta-da! 
I've pulled out uh, Madame Glam's um, gel paint in white. I've got a nice narrow brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to roughly go around the um, shell pieces. I'm not going to go completely round and join up all the lines. Um, I want it sort of like so it looks a little bit veiny. So what I've pulled out as well now, while it is wet on the nail, I've just got that. Uh, it's actually a, a marble brush it says but I think it's more like a um, like a flat gel brush and all I'm doing is going along those lines and just dispersing them a little bit You've got to try and keep your brush as clean as possible and I'm just literally going over the edges of the white and just pulling it away from the shell pieces and then pop that back in the lamp. And then all that's left to do is uh, just some gems on, did I put any gems on? I think I did. I don't know actually. I only did them yesterday and I've forgotten. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, I think I've put some gems on. So that will probably be coming up next, I think. Um, <laughs> oh, terrible. Yes, I did. I can see it's coming up. I put some gems on. So we just, oh, I'm losing the plot. I am absolutely losing the plot. Yeah, I just put some gems on. Um, they're like little bubble pearls from uh, Charlie's Nail Art. They are ombre, a blue and purple together. They're really nice. Recommend them, definitely. And then I'm just going to use uh, some of the little gold caviar beads just to go in between and on the ends. Then I'm going to top coat. So we're going to do them shiny. So we're going to go in with some no wipe top coat from uh, Madame Glam. And then that is the set finished. Um, as I said, it is a collaboration. Please do pop over and see all the girls' videos. I'll leave the playlist uh, down below. In the description box and in the comments pinned at the top and there's also a few of us ladies we put our photos the ones what haven't got um, YouTube have put their sets up their pictures on Instagram and I expect they'll be on Facebook as well um, so please do pop over and see them I will leave a list on my Instagram of everybody that has joined in because there's a fair few of us so that is about it. Thank you so much for watching. It's been, sorry, it's been a little bit longer, but there was many layers to it. So, but hopefully they look quite nice. I'm quite happy with them. It's the first time I've done a, a an abalone shell set. So I'm happy with them. Right, I'm going to leave you in peace, guys. Don't forget to pop over and watch that playlist and check out everybody else's. Uh, sets they are stunning and don't forget to uh, like and subscribe I would love that and I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye